Welcome back to Silver Run Forest on Farming Simulator 22 Platinum Expansion Edition for Episode 7 with me, Mr. CDP. As I look out over all that I survey, all that I survey, as I survey all that I own, something like that, um, I've moved from my hillside over there to this hillside here. I've been clearing trees, same thing again, but leaving the smaller trees, taking out the bigger ones. And I've gone down, my the field I own down there, putting the sheep on, we kind of go right the way down to that. So, as you've already seen, I've been taking deliveries of containers up to the container warehouse because that's where the good money is i've got a massive pile of logs here i say massive i've got a pile of logs here because i've just put a load in to fill that one up i've got a load of lumber down on the field that's got to be collected as well but i'm keeping some lumber because i want to take some up to the old sawmill i'll put that in the regular log, log trailer i've got a couple more deadwood contracts to do um, but financially we're doing all right. We're looking good. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this load up. Actually, let's close the doors. Time with all that falling out. I've been taking up all of my um, offcuts still. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go up. We'll pick up the trailer that's up there. We'll bring that down. Actually, this doesn't have a real trailer. So I'm just trying to think. Oh, you know, let's go back to the pause. But we'll take the wood chips and sell them wherever the price is the best for the time being. I've got a load more up there, so I can load up probably another trailer. The, the second-hand trailer that I bought. Um, it's an 18,000 
500, 18,700 litre. It was only 11 grand result. So I'm happy with all that. And I've been around doing all my stump grinding. I might have missed a few here and there, but I think I've got most of them out. So, so looking a little bit neater and tidier. What we're going to be doing then in this episode, we are going to whiz along to the wood turner and we're going to buy the wood turners because we need to get staircase railings being produced and I can't for the life of me remember I've got it actually I've got a screenshot I took I should have that up really to my side um, when Giants were releasing all the information before Platinum came out about all the different productions and what they made and what they required so I should probably have that that would make life a little bit easier so we're going to go and get the wood turner um, I've got enough money I think to buy the wood turner we're going to go and buy the boat yard hopefully Boat building begins today. That's the plan. I want to get the sheet pens in, get that done. So we've got a few bits I want to do, and I might have enough to buy my own tree harvester. The one that I leased, I'm on 0 0.9 hours. I haven't quite gone to a full hour, and I've done a fair bit of logging with it in that hour. So I'm, my decision now is, do I get that one, or do I go for something bigger? Well. I think I'm going to go for that one. The reason behind it being that myself and Niall, <laughs> Niall messaged me, uh, I was doing, I've done a load of logging off camera, as you can see, I've been doing a load to build my money up because I'm, between episodes, I want to be able to, you know, move my progress along. So the wood turner is here. Laser wood turning workshop, 80 grand, we can do that. So let's turn all that off. Right, so this will just take wood. Brilliant. So we can bring some lumber along to here. It will also take planks long. I think I might just bring wood to start off with. The recipe... It requires more wood than it does planks long, but the, the raw lumber I can just bring and we'll just fill it up. So I'll get a load of staircase railings going, so I need those for the roller coaster. We'll get that going. Yeah, so, so the thing was, um, I've done a load off camera, and I was using the... Harvester, and obviously you get to a odd tree that's just too big, and it will say that it's too big, it's too thick at this point, it won't cut. So I've been cutting them down by hand, and again, some of you out there might have been saying, th "Think, well, yeah, how do you do that? Well, why wouldn't you do that? It's obvious. It hasn't been." <laughs> um, so I took the tree down, and then what I was doing was using my measuring stick, measuring it out, cutting the lumber, and then just moving it as it was. One of the trees I felled, and it fell down. I say the wrong way, but the thin end pointing out onto the field. So I went over with the tree harvester and suddenly thought, hang on a minute, because you can tilt the head, and you could do on some harvesters on um, FS19, I think it was L1, R1, and left stick side to side, but not all of them did it, but now a lot of them you can tilt the head up. Why don't I tilt the head and cut from the thin end rather than the thick end, as you would do when it's standing upright, and cut the tree backwards? So I did, and it worked fine. So to be fair, there's no reason at all why I can't use the, the tree harvester I've got for doing thicker trees. Now, admittedly, there's a, a couple of new ones out, or the HR Forston Fuzzoid Bell, the renowned wood uh, um, harvesting or woodland company. Forestry would be a better word, woodland forestry company, have been updating a lot of their gear and there's two of their new ones out, the Pond Scorpion King, and it gives you the diameters of trees it will cut. But interestingly, a lot of them go up to sort of, you've got 60s, 65, 70s, I think some go up to 80. One of the new Pond Scorpion Kings they've just been working on says it does 464 centimetres. That, that's 4.6 metres in diameter. So I guess we're doing the sequoias and stuff like that. If you're wanting to cut down sequoias, it's not really worth bothering, but you could if you wanted to. So um, I thought about getting one of them, but they're a little bit more expensive. I think they did, must say a little bit more. Looking at about 375 grand for the one I've got, the tracked one, or for their one, I think it works out about 389. Oh, I might just go for it. Yeah, so again, I'm in one of my usual, you know what I do, my dilemmas and I'm in R and about stuff. Not a cough stop today, that was, that was a sneeze. <laughs> Just came out of nowhere. So, up here, what have we got? 
process so far. We've got another planks need there, it's at 904. We've got ourselves along planks. I keep thinking, is it Edward Longshanks? Was it Longshanks? Was that something to do with the American Civil War, Longshanks? I keep thinking Edward. I keep thinking Edward Longplanks and then chuckling to myself in my head. Um, was it? I'll have to look that up. Um, this one, for some reason, does not like this crossing. An angle maybe might work a bit better. Oh, yeah, we just about made it. Actually, what I've been doing is going up the main road and just coming in off, off the main road. I don't know why I went this way. Um, as you can see, though, the wood chip pile. We've got a full trailer. We've got some in the bucket and the pile is still growing. So plenty of wood chips while we're here. Let's check the wood chip pricing. And we'll work out where we're going to take that to. Then we'll get on with all the rest of the stuff. So, wood chips. Oh, that's good prices. Uh, hotel 674 looks about the best. Haven't been to the hotel yet. So, what we'll do, we'll drop off the container, we'll take that back. We'll try and do both, I'm not sure it'll work, but... This is still paying out 1,900 and something. But I've found I'm getting varying prices, so it depends what trees you put in. They're all the right length. Yeah, about right. The logs I'll drop off, they need to go into the wood chipper. So I'm just thinking, if I, I don't think it's going to work, but if I hook up the log trailer and then back it up to this, will it hook up to the back? I don't think. This isn't a ball hitch though, this is a pin hitch, I think. Can't hurt to try, can it? If not, I'll just whiz down to the wood chip and we'll come back. I'll bring the skids to load the back over and I can load the trailer up again and every now and again I'll just take a load. I think because we're heading into winter you often find the prices are a lot better. Gently does it. It will. <laughs> Hey, it's genius if it works. If it doesn't, no one remembers you. <laughs> so, I'm going to head down to the hotel. We'll get rid of the wood chips. Uh, and then we'll go down to the boatyard. I'll have to come back up again because I'm going to need to grab the planks and stuff. Oh, actually, I suppose I could load those on now, couldn't I? Yeah, I'll do it while I'm up here. Let's get those off. And then... I'm going to be putting the sheep pens in, I need to get mowers and then we need to sort of get some grass so we can get sheep fed so we can get some our little fabric machines working. There's not a tailors though, is there? I've said that before, I'm sure I've said that before. There's not a tailors, so we need to put in a tailors. I'm just trying to think if there was another... I don't think there's a production here at Silver Run that does um, fabric. There are a few different ones out there. Actually, there is a... Um... Oh no, that takes it changes to... I'm thinking there's one that does cotton and wool, makes the fabric and you can make clothes, but I don't want clothes, just want the fabric, so that's kind of irrelevant really. Um, right. I'll see you in a minute, I'm going to load up those... Uh... I'll take the two pallets down that I've got. I don't know actually whether or not to stop and have a cup of tea and wait till we've got a second pallet of planks, maybe. I can't remember for the boat building. I'm going to have to get that thing open because that's going to drive me mad if I can't remember. <laughs> so much information, so much stuff buzzing around my head. And I keep thinking to myself, I know I've seen the picture of that. I know what it sh should be. I know what it should be in my head. It doesn't always equate to what it actually is though, does it? Uh, wood beam boards, planks, metal, floor tile in step one. And then wood beam fabric and floor tile. So I've got floor tiles going. We've got some metal I can go and collect. Um, we've got planks being made. It's wood beams on it. Well, it says boards. I'm assuming boards are long planks, aren't they? I wonder if I changed the name of that. It's, um, none of those actually say long planks. I'm pretty sure they all say boards. Yeah, planks and boards. Wood beams, prefab walls. So, yeah, I'll take what I've got. We'll pick up some metal. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to get my boat building going, at least.
wood chips, planks, long planks and metal. It's funny how you can really, really mix up history, isn't it? I'm sure people have already commented. <laughs> the reason I knew Edward Longshanks was Edward I of England. An English monarch, nothing to do with the Civil War. No idea why that was in my head. Um, so I thought I'd better look it up because every time I'm saying long planks, I just get popping into my head. Yeah, Edward I of England, known as Edward Longshanks, the Hammer of the Scots. From 1272 to 1307, he ruled. Ah, <sighs> never mind. Obviously, remembered part of my history lessons, just not all of it. Ah, oh, that's interesting. I've got one tip side left, and nothing's coming up. Ah, there we go. Didn't have the correct thing highlighted. Right, let's unload the wood chips, get rid of those. I've separated the metal at the back because I think, I'm trying to think, I'm sure for the boat building we need for the first cycle round about 2,000 litres, that's oh, not bad, 12 grand, um, about 2,000 and obviously we've got four pallets here so what I'm going to do is sell those two and deliver those two, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. I need all the processes to uh, really get going. Planks is not accepted here. Right, uh, furniture store, furniture makers, I think it's the next best place, but I've got to be careful for selling the metal. What I might do is deliver to the boatyard first and then bring the stuff. I think it's probably the best bet. I'll drop off the wood chip trailer and then we can take that up to be refilled at some point. And then as we roll into October 2, we should have... Hopefully we'll have some floor tiles ready to go. Because they've been chugging away. And if I can get some lumber delivered, we can get some staircase railings done. It's nothing yet, but we're kind of working towards it. Uh, let's get this sorted. And then I need to... Oh, yeah, the, sh the sheep. There's no livestock market here on um, Silver Run. So what we'll do... Well, we'll have to have them shipped. There's nothing we can do about that. I think I said after I did the uh, the original, the look round when I was familiarising myself with the place, someone had messaged me to say, had you noticed? And I said, you know what, it's, I, I've said it before, when you're doing, or when I do map tours, I go around and you, I make notes of all the stuff that's there, and I look for certain things. Livestock market is not one of those things I normally have on my list, because usually every map has one. I think I've only ever encountered one other map that hasn't, maybe a couple. Um, so it wasn't something I ever really looked at. So you know, didn't cross my mind at all until it was mentioned. And I thought, ah, oh, okay. But yeah, you just have to pay for delivery. Unfortunately, not nothing to do about it. So what we'll do is we'll get these brought in. I've got plenty of lumber. So as far as building the uh, sheep pens go, we shouldn't have a problem. What we'll do is swing in here and then we'll look at I think we just deliver across the front so if I drive forwards we'll take off the planks in the first metal and then hopefully not the second metal that's the plan so boat building begins planks 9,000 planks long 9,000 wood beam 5,760 metal 1,800 there we go so just under 2,000 and floor tiles 7,200 so we do need some 125 grand it's not cheap but when we build our boats because this is a repeatable process um, we'll make that money back. No problem at all, he says. Um, there's no way you can't do anything about the production. You can't touch, to, uh, like, click on it to control anything. So what I need to make sure I do now, if I come to the bushes a little bit, I'm sure it's across the front here, and I'll back out. There we go. the planks are going and then we'll go in for the metal hopefully that will start to go down there we go do those two and back out there we go so 
We might need more for the next section and we'll need more as we move forward but for the time being because the um, furnace is making plenty um, and I've got plenty of ore there I've also taken my lorry off screen the um, trailer I emptied it took it back up to the mine that's refilled again with another 48,000 litres but the um, the furnace is actually full uh, where are we yeah it takes 60,000 um, so it's pretty much full it's chucking away we've got another metal uh, pallet ready to go anyway so I can't really speed that price up anymore unless I put in a second iron furnace to double my production which I could do I guess at some point if I wanted to so as far as I'm aware now then it looks like it should be chugging away it's processing what it's got I need to bring more down um, wood beams when I get some metal we've delivered that's fine and four tiles yeah out first but anyway like I say boat building has begun we haven't got all the stuff needed to get the first section away but we've we've begun the process and we own the boat yard now so that's good I was thinking actually every time we do a new boat should we like christen it should it have a name maybe we'll call the first one long shanks or we we'll call it long planks because it's been made out of long planks I, I, just because I because I'm an idiot. Is it funny? I knew it, but I'm not completely right. That's that. Actually, what we'll do before we take the metal to sell, let's swing around. Let's head to the field because we're out this way anyway. Let's get our sheep pens put in. And then what I need to do is, like I said, before the end of the episode, I want to get some mowing done. So my Volvo, oh, yeah. my Volvo's only got a rear three point link, hasn't got a front three point link. So as far as the mowing rig goes, I'm still kind of torn really. I still go with the Riberian or see, but we can have a look at the, the lumber piles while we're here. So that's what we've got so far. I'm still torn. Do I go with that? I do like it. Or do I just say to myself, rather than messing around with larger trees for the extra sort of 20 odd grand, which in all honesty, if I sell one container load of lumber, which I've got up there, would cover the difference between the two, do I get the ponds? I'll show you what I mean. I don't know whether you're interested or not, it's, it's entirely a different matter, but right out there, the pond scorpion king, if you look at the roll, it says 464 centimetres. That one does 60 centimetres. 4.6 meters that will cut to that's craziness or do I for the sake of mowing look at the prices do I get myself just a small something else you know with the three-point link on the front that's quite excessive and I might as well just get a rear mower or something instead I don't know if I've got it installed because I said about this before. Is it under mowers? The Riberi? If I've got it. No, I haven't. That's odd. I thought I had that little set of mowers installed. Maybe I haven't. I was going to use those, but I say it requires a front three point link. I'll have a think. That could go back then. If I'm going to buy one, which I'm intending to do, I'm going to get one. Just don't know which. That could go back. Right. Pens. Animals and sheep. These ones here, or this one here, this sheep pasture, 5,000. That's all it's going to cost for 30. I reckon I could place, place three of those and have 90 sheep on the go. I wish I got by the sheep as well. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it goes that way around. If I put it right off the edge like that, how far away can I push it? How far that way can we come? One there. Do you reckon 60 sheep would be enough? I'm right on the edge there, so I'm gaining as much as I possibly can with regard to what I can mow. We'll start off with 60, I think. I 
nice and cheap. So, it's got to be mountain, hasn't it? It's pretty mountainous. Should we go with Black Welsh Mountain this time? I think so. Now, I'm not worried about reproduction here. Um, I, I suppose I should be, but because if I fill them completely, when they reproduce, I mean, there are means to an end. It's not necessarily about me getting more sheep. It's about the fact I need them for basically fabric machines. That's the point, isn't it? So I think I might just fill... It's only 1,500 feet I haven't delivered. It's not the end of the world, is it? I'm going to go with those in that one. And this one, we'll go with these Swiss Black Brown Mountain... Okay. So what I do need to double check, because I'm pretty sure they do need water. Yes, they do. So they're going to need feed and they're going to need water. Hadn't factored that in either. Um, think, think, think. Yeah. Trigger, dialogue box. More pallets will spawn there. I've got enough room to get them in. That kind of... They fit in really nicely here as well. It kind of... They blend in. They're not kind of in your face. They're not massive. We've used offcuts of lumber and stuff to make the pens. I think even the kind of colour palette it fits, yeah, really nicely. Um, if I remember... They should already be in the description, hopefully, if I've been efficient. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure Sheep Small Barn, I want to say, by Macca. I'm sure it's by Macca. We'll have, well, they'll be in the description anyway. So, mowing next. I'm going to sell the metal rolls. And then we'll sort out. Do I bring down the Volvo, get a side mower? I think I'll have to look at some mowing options. Um... That's cool. I might put a little track in, but if I put a track in, then I'm, I'm, I'm wasting grass that I could be cutting. But if I get the Ribéry... Actually, that was under vehicles, was it? I don't think it was. Under mowers. No. Um, even if I just lease it every now and again when I need it, I can just cut what I need to fill, fill it up. I really want to do some mowing. I wish I could make a decision. <laughs> that would make life so much easier, wouldn't it? So, what I had in mind for this episode. Buy the boatyard. Deliver some resources to the boatyard. Get the sheep pens put in. Get the sheep. Get them fed. Uh, watering will need to be done as well. So, I need to get myself a water container. I want to get myself one. I, t I tend to, again, I fall back on the same ones all the time. I fall back on ones that give me a nice capacity for a decent price. I don't want to be paying silly money for a, you know, for a really tiny capacity. I'll have a think. I'll sell the metal, and what I'll do, I'll, as I always say, I'll have a look through the brochures. We'll see what's available. I'll take the wood chip um, trailer back up, maybe get that refilled, um, and I'll have a think about whether I want to get a small tractor, just something to work the sheep, you know, so I can get some water sorted out. Um, and mowing done and grass collected, or do I just go for the Ribéry? Can't remember what horsepower that requires, but furniture factories out here. We'll get these delivered. That should be another 10 grand or so. Seriously considering buying the... Um, Uh, the tree harvester now, so I know what money I've got to play with now. Do I, have I brought it into here yet? I don't think I have. Have I? Is it around the front? Probably. There we go. 10,999. Take that. Oh, thank you very much.
few items have moved around. Log trailer has now gone over to the grass field. I'm going to load up lumber for that, take some to the wood turner um, and some up to the, the north sawmill. The Volvo has got 140 horsepower, I think this has got. It doesn't have a front three point, but I'm going to go with the Riberi to start off with. I might then go to a situation where I mow Ted, or not Ted, mow, windrow, collect. Um, if I do that, I might try one of the palleted front front three point links on this. But in all honesty, it's got enough horsepower to do what I need to. I'm pretty sure the Riberi is only 85 horsepower. I know I've used it before, but it works. You know, you can do that on demand feed thing. Just go out, mow it, feed them, and job done. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for it. I was looking at the various different um, water trailers. I'm just going to go for an Abbey one, I think. It's 6,056 litres. It's not mega expensive. And I'll do a couple of trips backwards and forwards till the water's filled up. It's not, you know, I don't need a 100,000 litre water container. I just need that, really. Um, room colour, chrome, or, yeah, we're going with black. No license plates. Let's buy that. And then the Riberi is under forage wagons, I think, although it's got a mower on it. I have got these two as well, the TARDIS XL. I was looking at those, but I would need to mow Windrow. Then I could collect with this sort of just one hit. Um, 35,500 litre capacity straight off the bat. Leasing that will send me back 1,892. It's not going to break the bank to buy it, in all honesty. Considering I was thinking of getting a tractor for 37,100, I've got, got it then whenever I need to collect grass. Why don't I buy it? Oh, look at our bank balance. <laughs> it's a bit low. It's all right, we'll be fine. Won't we? We'll be all right. Um, I've also bought another shipping container, another six meter. That's up with the telehandler. So we should be able to fill another one of those up from the top lumber pile. I'll take that and deliver that. So that should be about another 45 grand back into the bank. And then, like I say, we'll take a load of lumber to the wood turner. That'll be the next episode, I think. I'll deliver that and I'll deliver up to the North Sorbel just to make sure I've got plenty of lumber where it needs to be to keep the processes rolling. And then next episode, we'll have a look at the new harvester as well, tree harvester, and we'll get that, get a few more trees down. I'm going to need to do a few more loads from the, the land we own because I'm going to need to buy a new plot um, because we are going to get through the lumber at some point. Actually, I haven't even thought to check whether or not I can fill up my water from the lake. Maybe. So what we'll do is start mowing right from the edge from as well. Turn it on, drop it down. And away we go. And then once we're full, we'll just take it, feed them, and I can put it to one side over here whenever I need to, and come and cut the grass. And happy days. Actually, I'll go this side of it. We might as well utilise everything we possibly can. It'll take a little while, but we need the fabric, so. Yeah, that's the other thing, wasn't it? I said tailors. I'll have a look and see what ones we've got available. Uh, not tailors. I'm not talking about spinnery. Okay, I said tailors earlier. I meant spinnery. I don't need the tailors. I'm not making clothes. I just need a spinnery to make fabric. So um, I did, I'm trying to remember whether or not the Oma Tunnel. I know there was a chat in, in my on my Discord server, actually, the other day. Um, somebody asked the same question. And I was wondering, because there's the Omatana set of production facilities, whether one of those, I don't think it does, has got a spinnery. There are plenty again, like I said, there are plenty knocking around. And what I might do is put the spinnery down this land as well. So it's all close by, I can then do my fabric all in one place. We're not going to need it just yet, but at least, again, we'll get the processes going, we'll get the sheep producing wool, we'll get the spinnery producing the fabric, and then when I do need it, we've got it. I haven't then got to wait another load of months for everything to be ready. So. Actually, let's 
is spot on. No problem at all for this. It'll take a bit of time, but it's all good. Just thinking, actually, do I need to fertilise this? Because it's a field, will it just grow back, or do I have the ability? Oh, yeah, I don't think I do. It's not a field per se, is it? I don't know, maybe I can. I need to get a small fertiliser spreader and then what I'll do is I can whiz over and if it means I buy some fertiliser I should get a better yield next time round. I don't actually even know how much they're going to take. Well, that's the water. That's not going to be the place, is it? I've got some idea of how much I need to cut. Ah, OK. <laughs> Let's have a quick look. That might be enough. Is that all it took? 3,000 litres. OK. I've got enough in here to do the other one as well. Pop this to one side, and then we need more. So I'll whiz back, we'll get the water, or we'll get the tank anyway. Oh, excellent. Stick this under the tree. I thought I was going to have to mow loads and loads and loads. <laughs> this field is huge. That's good though. I'm pretty sure a standard spinner is only about 60 grand. I don't, like I said, I don't know if there's... I don't think we've got cheap. I'm trying to think. There's so many mods. Bakery country, windmill, spinnery. Yeah, 60 grand. It's quite a big building though. I was hoping for something a little bit more... Um... Low profile, low key. That one's 60. Oh, that's farm supplies, then on to silos, carpentry, spinnery. That one's 60 grand. Same as the other one, really. I think the processes are a little bit faster on that one, so I'm going to go for one. I'll go for one out of the packing facility. Mod, um, farm production stone. I don't think any of these do fabric. So, potato, bakery, dairy, fruits, oil. Yeah, I'm sure that was it. Cereals, mm, yeah, nothing like that. Right, let's go and get the water. I mean, that's something I haven't got to worry about yet until I've actually got some wool to, to be processed. I've got time to contact various manufacturers and see what's available. I'll be back here in a minute and we'll check the lake. If not, I'll put a water standpipe in. I mean, we've got the, the mighty river. Oh, is that another lake? River, lake to our south. OK then, let's see if we can fill up from the little pond lake. We could, we could try down there by the boatyard, I don't know, we'll see. So one thing I do miss, and I don't know if, I don't know if they're still modding or not, um, maybe they are on PC, is the uh, CNS modding Anne-Marie crew. Some of the stuff I did in FS19 was brilliant. And I haven't really seen anything from them for FS22. Now, how, how squidgy is this? Is it going to allow me to if I just dunk this in? Oh, yes. 
get in. Excellent. Not so like mucking around. The pond's right here by where we are. And just back through the, the trees there, really. Bit of weight on board now, but we'll see how much it takes. Hopefully it won't take a full load. If it does, I'll just do a couple of trips backwards and forwards. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. So happy. Let's close those doors, actually. I think I'm just a little bit too far out, aren't I? There we go. Couldn't be any better. It's worked perfectly. Food and water in on both. We should start getting some production soon. And with that, I have come to the end of this episode. I will see you in October 2. Um, oh, actually, I might see you later on. I don't know if I'll do a little bit of a, you know, little clip like I usually do of me loading the lumber into the trailer and then taking it to get the railings made and so I've got some up there as well plus I want to between now and the next episode I want to get a load of trees cut down and it means using a new tree harvester I, mean, I can still show you it in the next episode it doesn't matter if I've used it already or not um, actually do I want to move this down here for the time being I can do I can always move back up if I need to grab the winch I can go and grab it so for the time being it can stay here whole side of the tree for topping up of said animals. Yeah, so there we go. That's it for this episode. Boatyard purchased. Wood turner purchased. Items delivered to Boathouse. Not all of them, but enough to get us started. Sheep pens in, sheep done. Wood containers delivered. Wood chips delivered and sold. I've got another load to go and do, actually. Um, what I'll do is I'll whiz back, go and grab the pickup. Where did I take it? Oh, it's up the hill, isn't it? Yeah, we might as well head up there, actually. I need to load up the, the shipping container anyway. Um, and then I'll go and take another load of wood chips. I think I've got enough, maybe, for another full load. So I've got one already loaded of wood chips. And I might have enough for another full load. If not, as I'm cutting trees down, I will just continue to take all the offcuts. And we'll carry on. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to load this lot into there. Hopefully that will fill it. If not, I'll go down to the, the bottom of the hill. We'll put the last bits in there. Got some more chopping down. I'm not going to need that anymore. That wasn't my uh, my off cut for measuring stick. But now I've got the new tree harvester. I'm not going to need it. So I will continue along the hillside, taking out the taller ones. That one there, I don't think it's on, on my property. I'm pretty sure we're off the property line here because it comes. Oh no, maybe we're not because it follows this little stream down wherever the stream's gone. Follows this little stream down here. Oh, I've got a couple of offcuts here. Um, and then goes off at a diagonal. So potentially, let's have a look on the map and see where I am in relation to the plot we own. I mean, yeah, we're right. Let's try that. We might be all right. Let's have a look. Will it allow me to cut with this? It will. Okay, so we can take that one down. Uh, and then I'll work my way across the hillside. So, there we go. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. As always, thanks for watching.